So Sugar Dumpling is a new Caribbean barbecue and bar. Um, this is a development team. We spent uh, just over a year developing this new concept. And we launched our first restaurant on Friday. So it's been open just less than a week. We're trying to do something authentic. So our primary theme is that we're doing what, what we would call real cooking. So you won't eat anything that's been prepared in a central kitchen. You won't get any ribs that are boil in the bag and just brought to temperature in the restaurant. There's nothing in the freezer. We won't defrost and reheat anything. We'll just cook it from scratch. Even the fries, we'll chip ourselves and then we'll season them with our own sort of savory seasoning. Everything that you ate today, if you were outside on the terrace, was prepared from fresh this morning. So we're trying to deliver real cooking. The new restaurant is a 200-seater unit up in Prince's Square in Glasgow, a lovely shopping center. We're trying to add to the food some fresh cocktails. And then after that, we're going to try and add our own brand rum. So you'll be able to go to the bar and sit around the distillery in the middle of the restaurant and enjoy your own brand of uh, sugar dumpling rum. Hopefully, that gives us a real point of difference. Off peak, we'll be able to give people a tour of the distillery and a tasting. We'll be able to target that tourist pound. It gives us a vertical margin on the product that we use the most in the cocktails. But more than that, it's just a really cool thing to do. It's just deep freezer cool. My dad, when he was back home in Kingston, Jamaica, used to make his own rum illegally. We can make it legally now here in, uh, in the UK. So the final theme really is we've tried to create a, an aesthetic, a look and feel that looks like nothing you've ever seen before. We're trying to bring the outdoors inside. So we, instead of building a booth where you might sit with your friends and enjoy a birthday party, we've built little beach huts where you can control the temperature and the music and the lighting. It just creates a really intimate space. We've bought like old wooden clinker boats and turned them into love seats, somewhere you can sit and hold hands and canoodle. We're trying to deliver something that we call a great experience. Uh, experience for me is something that is overused. It's almost become cliched, but we've tried to stay true to delivering a great experience. So even in launch, before we opened, we created a beach, 20 tons of white sand, wooden rowing boats, deck chairs, in the middle of the shopping center. And it gave the parents the opportunity to sit back and relax while the children played barefoot in the sand. The feedback was that it was a fantastic family experience. The other thing we did before launch for four weeks is we pimped up an old Citroen truck and we took it on the free lunch tour. So we went to see lots of local companies people who would be prospective customers, and we gave them a taste of our Caribbean menu. The van's got the full DNA of the restaurant, so they met the team, they could smell the aromas of the food, they could taste what it is we did. They had a fantastic experience. My favorite tweet was a young lady who wrote, I would give away one of my feet for sugar dumplings, sweet potato fries. She had lovely feet, I gave her the fries. So we're planning to open a second and third restaurant just before the end of the year. The second one's actually tiny. It's more of a kiosk than a restaurant. But then the third one is it's a monster. It's what I'd call a flagship distillery. So our requirements ideally are that we can find a busy leisure scheme. Everyone wants a busy scheme. Uh, located in a shopping center or on the high street. For me, the geography has to be here in the UK or in the Caribbean, I'd consider that. But size, it doesn't really matter, but that's easy for me to say. Thank you.